All right, everyone, how's it going? We're doing the Sur Bus Depot Survival on the Open Beta. Uh, maps made by Zella and I think, uh, well, a bunch of other people. I'll definitely leave the Steam page in the description and you guys can check out all the awesome people that worked on it. But yeah, I just wanted to try it out today. So here goes nothing. I got the 725 here. Quick revive looking great. After last stand on death. Alright, let's try not to go down immediately, that's for sure. We've got hit markers we can disable or enable, and there's also, um, there is also, what should we call it, um, good old hit marker sounds and stuff. And that is cool. Oh my gosh, this gun is amazing actually. Kind of kills them a little too quick, not gonna lie. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's figure out how to get out of here, shall we? Gobble gums cost 500, unfortunately, but that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and drink this so we can get quick revive and not accidentally die. That would be a good idea. Let's also get out of the map if we can, or out of the spawn if we can, I mean. Um, got some windows here. It looks like we can repair this one, but we can't repair the other one. Forgive me for not knowing the names of all the Victus uh, people you play as, but I do not. So, you have to bear with me a little bit here. But I am playing by <laughs> the old guy. <laughs> I'm playing the old guy, whatever you, whatever his name is. But yeah, let's get into it. Ah, oh, that door open was like so smooth, actually. Alright, looks like the box is over here. Uh, we're gonna have to unlock that area though, so that's gonna that's gonna cost some money. So let's kind of let's kind of get some money first. Gotta get some points. Unfortunately, I did waste this uh, double points, but it's it's all good. Not the end of the world. Let's see what we can do here. Should be two knives on round two, as always. Looks like we got some people spawning in already, so that's good. Probably don't want to waste too much of the ammo on this guy, but I also need some points for sure. So there's that. Alright, let's see how many how many shots? Three, four. Let's try like six maybe? And then a knife. There we go, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. A knife. If we can get some pass through damage, that'd be great as well. Now this one I'm not sure how many to to kill. There we go. Oh we got a freaking death machine already. Mini gun, I mean. This guy looks pretty cool as well. Alright, that audio is a little loud for me. I'm going to turn that down just a tad. Um, it's fine for me, but I don't want it to be drowning out my voice. That's the only thing. Oh yeah, that's much better. Look at this gun, dude. Awesome. Alright, well, I don't have to waste any ammo with this one, at least. Uh, but yeah, we have the Pack-A-Punch, and you also have, like, the... Uh, you can, like, master your weapon for, like, an, an, a huge fee as well, which makes your weapon even awesome. More awesome? Awesomer? Alright, well, didn't get a whole lot of use out of that, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, this guy won't die. Alright, we should probably grab a good weapon here soon. Let's go ahead and get the Mark II Carbine and see if, see if this guy will help us out a lot. Alright, there we go. Headshots seem to work pretty well at least, so that's good. At least on round three. And it looks like you reload your ammo one at a time on this guy. Let's try not to miss what I'm doing. Got two in a row there. Nice. Two for one. That's what we like to see. But yeah, they're they're working on this map. Obviously it's a work in progress, but um it's map is looking great, honestly. And I'm super excited to see once they actually uh, get the transit map as well. But that's probably gonna be a little bit longer hopefully it will be released in 2024 though I think they are trying to but obviously this stuff does take a while but yeah the music the round change music we got pack a punches over there it cost a heck of a lot so we definitely will need uh oh it looks like a, a little light turned on when I got into a darker area so that's something definitely need like a point gun or something though so probably hitting the box will, will be a good idea soonish at least relatively soon. Oh, that's nice. Let's go ahead and grab some knife kills then for maximum pointage. But yeah, we're just playing like the regular map. Um, I was thinking about doing maybe some mod tools on it, uh, but I just wanted to try out the regular map first at least. Uh, 
We'll definitely try to pack a bunch, tons of weapons, and do whatever we can. Got some like purpley lights coming out, looks like. Unless that's blue, in which case I'm sorry. Um, got all the people for like the the donors and stuff, and that's really cool that he's shouting them out as well. But yeah, we've got the gobble gun machine, obviously. Um, yeah, D14. I don't know if this is good or not. Uh, let's check it out though. This carbine seems to do a pretty good amount of damage, so... Oh wow, four shots to the head with this guy. Yeah, this guy's bad for sure. Well, at least it's a starting weapon, so I mean, you kind of expect it to be rough. But yeah, that is a bit rough for sure. Alright, I, I do like the bigger, slightly larger open areas to actually like train around in and stuff. I like that a lot, actually. But yeah, let's try to get some points with this weapon then, if it's not so great. Yeah, there we go. That's much better. Yeah, at least we can get some good pointage with this weapon, so that's always great. Oh, we got a drop there, I think. When we get nuke. Oh, okay, we don't really need that, actually. We're good. Thank you, though. Maybe if we end the round, we can grab it, but I'm not, uh, not super interested in it or anything. Unless we can end the round. We might be able to actually. I think this is the last guy. Is it? I'm not sure. Oh right, we have the. Okay, so we have like a pause round every I think five rounds or so, which is really cool. I don't know actually how long um, of a pause you get, but I will definitely utilize this right now. Actually, um, I would like to get some perks though. Where is Juggernog? If we could find Jug, that would be great. I think I think it's downstairs actually. This is only 500 to buy this, so while we have the, the, the timeout... Oh yeah, that's right. We have uh, power down here as well, so let's grab that. That's big. Yep, Juggernog's down here. We definitely want that. Let's get our free points as well. I do like how clean the, uh, the numbers and just like the HUD looks as well. It looks really, really good. They definitely touched that up a bit, but yeah, it hasn't ended the round like automatically for me yet, which is really nice. I do like that. I wonder if they'll open up the map to like more areas over here in the future. Probably not, but I mean, you know, it's worth a shot. Just wondering. Uh, looks like we got double tap over here, looking pretty snazzy actually. Um, that's definitely going to be useful. I uh, got the spaz or something in there. Got the box obviously right here, looking pretty nice. Uh, we probably should open that up honestly. Oh, it looks like that opened this area up as well. Okay, well, let's check it out. What we got in here exactly? Got the XM4 from Cold War, it looks like. Kind of like the Commando, almost. Uh, oh, what's this? We have Speed Cola. Yes, Speed Cola's the best. All right, nice. Um, yeah, twice as quick. Oh, so it's actually just better than Cold War Speed Cola, too, I think. I'm pretty sure uh, Cold War Speed Cola only increases it by, like, 30%, but twice as fast is obviously 50%, so sweet. Spin the mystery box twice as quick as well. Rebuilds zombie barriers faster. That's cool. I didn't know if actually the original does that uh, spin the mystery box quicker thing. But yeah, we definitely want to get that pretty quickly. I think it's 3,000, right? Which like normal. Yeah. So we definitely want to save up for that. I uh, Speed Cola is one of my favorite perks for sure. Um, definitely like that bad boy. Got a jukebox here. That's cool. Oh, I didn't mean to actually skip the round there, but that's fine. We, I, I did need to do it pretty soon anyway, so that's okay. We should probably get a little bit more ammo for this. How much does it cost on the wall here? 500. I think I'll wait on it for now. Hopefully we'll be okay. We might have to get a, another weapon before too long, I'm not sure. I also got to open this up soon, but it's not a big deal or anything. I definitely want to get perks and uh, good weapons before we go crazy on anything. What is that exactly? Alright, everyone get in a line, and then we can kind of chill. Kind of get a bunch of points. Everyone want to go ahead and spawn in? I would appreciate... Absolutely. Now that we have Jug, at least it's a little bit safer and feel a little bit better for sure. Oh yeah, that's 
that's what I'm talking about right there. Did we get any power-ups there? We did, alright. Well, uh... You know what, let's go ahead and grab it because then I don't have to waste ammo. That's the only thing. Uh-oh. Well, they're moving quick. Oh my gosh. Try to get headshots here if we can. Uh, any more? Is that the last one? No. How about this guy? There we go, that's the last one. Alright, well let's go, uh, speed cooler real quick. While we have the chance. I'm gonna spin the mystery box as well. Because I do have the points, luckily, right now. What did we get? PPSH 41. Yeah, that'll definitely be good for points, I think. Methinks. Is this good for, uh, for melee as well? Or not melee, but like body shots? Or no? Eh, not super great, but something, I guess. Alright, let's get him in a line and then we can, uh, we can do that. Little train and stuff with the extra points. I'll wait for a second till we get more. Yeah, I'm so glad this has come to the to uh, Black Ops 3 though. This is this is awesome, guys. I really appreciate everyone and all the work that co goes into this. It really looks good and uh, it's so fun. Feels like a uh, an official map, honestly. It really does. Oh shoot. Oh crap. Let's be careful guys. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. probably get double tap before too long make our weapons deal a little bit more damage we do have the slowing stuff here like the mud or whatever all right let's grab it while we can all right nice we're good got a max ammo so we've got more ammo for our carbine as well which is nice definitely just want to get as much points as we can though So many coming from that direction, alright. Let's go this direction then. Uh, stamina up is probably going to be pretty useful. I think there's a Wonder Fizz machine over there that we want, that is, uh, is a thing. Also, I think there's a, a perk limit. I think it's six, maybe, as well. So you do want to watch out for that a little bit, for sure. Yeah, alright, how about uh, body shots now? Yep, there you go, double tapple. We'll make it pretty good. This is definitely going to give me the most points though, even though I almost want to use the other weapon. Double points is nice. It's the end of the round, sadly, but it's fine. We'll grab this and then we'll we'll get the other double points once uh, once it's ready. Mule kick would also be really nice. What's this one over here? Mule kick, nice. It looks amazing. All right, we'll get that for sure. And then now we can have an extra weapon so we can hit the box again. Or we can get a wall weapon if we wanted, but I think I'd rather hit the box for now, just in case we get something good. Alright, that's all of our double points. I probably should have used this uh, PPSH to, to get more points there, but I didn't. Oh well. Oh my gosh, they're like cutting me off though. Smart AI. I think they're also a little bit faster in this map, and they like, they obviously scale up pretty quick to be pretty fast as well. So stamina up is probably going to be a pretty useful thing to grab. I thought I got a, a drop there for a second, but I guess not. 
Must have been my eyes deceiving me. Yeah, this looks like most of them here. Am I wrong? Are there more spawning? Oh, it's a max ammo there. That's nice. Alright, there we go. That's all that. Now, next round. Max ammo is always nice as well, of course. And then we've got... Uh, got the the Wonderfizz machine. This should be a pause round, right? Oh, no, it is not. Okay, never mind. But where is stamina up? That's what I'm wondering, because I don't actually know. Is it back there somewhere that I missed? Oh my gosh, they're running quick. Oh my gosh. Oh, go down. Please, no. Yeah, stamina up's definitely going to be useful, especially against, like, smarter AI zombies as well. Careful, make sure we don't go down here if we can avoid it. Alright, there we go. We can go pack a punch now. I also kind of want to look for stamina up if we can. Uh, maybe it's not actually physically on the map. It might just be in the Wonder Fist machine. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't think it was in spawn. But perhaps it was? I'm not sure actually. Let's see if we can get a crawler. What do we get? Electric burst? What is that? Cherry or something? Alright, well, we had to kill him there. Uh, 20,000 to unlock Pack-A-Punch, though. Okay, yeah, that's costing quite a bit, then. Okay, this is the pause round, then. Okay. Well, let's, uh... I can only carry six perks. All right, never mind. That's gonna be it, then. Uh, but yeah. I guess we won't have stamina up this, this playthrough, at least, but that's okay. I do kind of wish they would have infinite perks, um, to be honest. Or at least some of the better ones, like some of the best ones, like... Um, at least have unlimited slots, but, uh, you know, they chose not to do it in this map, and that's definitely their, uh, choice. Uh, they worked hard on it, for sure, on the map, so, um, yeah, but I do think, uh, if they would, that would be an awesome addition. Very welcome addition, for sure. Um, let's see, I just kind of want to check everything a little bit, and make sure I'm not missing anything. What we got for, uh, for gobble gums, by the way? Let me go through that door now. Uh, always done swiftly. Okay. I mean, not the best, but I'll take it. Active for three full rounds. Aim quicker, move faster while aiming. Alright, I think we're pretty much good to go. Let's, uh... Actually, let's grab a third weapon before we go. We got AK-47U. Or 74U, rather. Alright, nice. Not too bad. Um, I think we're good. We'll hit it one more time, because I want to see what, what we got. M16, okay. Uh, you know what? I will replace the, the carbine for that, sure. This isn't the automatic one, is it? No, this is the burst one, okay. Yeah, I, I'm much more of a fan of the automatic one. I think it's a, is it M16A1 or something like that? Not sure exactly what it's called, but yeah. Alright, let's do it. Let's also check out these new weapons that we got, see how strong they are, how good they are. Obviously headshot's gonna be pretty good. Uh, how about the AK-74 view? Oh yeah. There we go. It's still good at least so far at around 11. That's 11 rather. That is also good. Love to see that. Oh, we got a lot of enemies coming in. Let's be a little bit careful. Yeah, it looks like it was basically electric cherry. 
so that's always great. I think it's actually got like extended range as well on this map, which is cool. The range of electric cherry when you're reloading, so that's always great as well. Let's go ahead and get the uh, death machine slash minigun so we don't have to waste as many points. Nice, that ended the round pretty fast. The bench is here, flipped over. <laughs> Yeah, I guess the bus route kind of like, like comes through here and then goes that direction, right? Right through there. Something like that. I didn't play a whole lot of Transit, but um, I am excited to play it once uh, once they release it. Also got like Die Rise coming and stuff. Just uh, Custom Zombies is looking really awesome in the very near future. If I get to aim, that would be also great. <laughs> Can't always aim though, not always. Got like the water effects on your screen as well, which is kind of cool. It's not like too intrusive either, which is nice. Yep, electric cherry, putting work in for sure. Maybe they weren't actually heading me off, maybe it was just the geometry, they were like, they had to, they couldn't go behind, so they were like, okay, we'll go in front then. Pretty good training area as well. The map layout is very nice. Chef's kiss. That's the last one. It is. All right, we have enough to open up pack a punch. We don't. We don't have enough to uh, pack much yet. So we'll wait till we have enough for both. Looks like we got the MP5 or something over there. What is that exactly? We can go check real quick. Yeah, it is MP MP5 for 1,200. Okay. Nice. All right, I'm gonna use the PPSH for a little bit while I get some more uh, points, and then as long as we don't go down, that'd be ironic. Just immediately down after using the PPSH. But yeah, do that real fast, and then we can uh, try to pack a punch. If we can pack a punch all our weapons, that would be amazing. And then I'd like to at least master one weapon if we can before uh, before dying, before going down or whatever. That'd be ideal. Didn't get the electric chair reload there, that's okay though. Got one there at least. Oh yeah, got insta-kill there, that's definitely not a bad idea to grab. They are kind of hogging the area right by it though. Be a little bit careful. Maybe we'll save it till next round. What do you guys think about that? Actually, I think it's going to expire first. We'll go ahead and grab it for now. We can go pack a bunch while we have insta-kill as well. That's a good idea. Let's go over there. Alright, let's open it up. And then let's pack a punch. The AK-74U first. Oh, the insta-pack punch too. That's great. I love that. You don't get to see the animations, the only sad part about it, but uh, it is quite nice. The FU2. <laughs> nice. Uh, let's go ahead and get the M16 as well. Get some extra ammo on that boy, web bad boy as well. Looks like we do have some like uh, wooden pieces in the ground, in the mud, so you can actually kind of still run pretty decently, which is nice. Look at that camo though. Someone melted some like chrome on top of it. It's looking nice. Alright. Well let's try out our, our weapon, the Skull Crusher. I think that's what they called it in the uh, in Black Ops Cold War as well. For the upgrade. I don't know if they called it in the original or not that, but I like the name. It's good. Alright, this gun doesn't seem to be like as crazily upgraded so far as I thought it might be, but that's okay. Oh, it does kinda shred though actually, so never mind. Maybe maybe I was just mistaken. I thought for a second it wasn't going to be quite as strong as I was expecting, but I think it's good. Alright, did we get any drops there? No, we did not. Alright, let's keep getting everyone trained up together. Yeah, but they are they are pretty quick in this, uh, in this map. I'm not sure exactly all the power-ups that they have, uh, or perks rather, but uh, yeah, it's good. 
Should we go ahead and pack a punch with PPSH, or should we try another weapon? I do like it, but I think uh, I think I am want to try. I do want to try another one. Although I don't really want to try the. Uh, I think it's basically the Olympia, right? I think it did get actually kind of buffed a little bit. Uh, actually, give me one second. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. Just checking something real quick. All right, back into it. All right. Our double points is unfortunately running out, but that's okay. That is okay. You do move very slow when you are uh, aiming in, though, I will say. I don't know if that's just on this weapon or if it's uh, just in general, but a little unfortunate. It's okay, then. Alright, Electric Cherry putting in work again. Love to see that. I don't know uh, what round it stops killing, but uh, I like it. It's a good, it's a good perk for sure. Very good perk. Because when you're reloading, you are at pretty much at your weakest point, and uh, more or less, more or less. And then getting that extra little like defensive thing, is super nice. All right. Should we pack a punch again, or should we get hit the box a few more times? This should be another break round, I believe. Let's see what we'll get from the box. The bar. I think I saw uh, Lex actually play this map, and the bar didn't seem super great. So we'll we'll try something else. What else do we have? What else do we have? I think we'll try to at least go to round 30 if we can. The DMR. I can't remember if this is good. I feel like it was, but I'm actually not sure. I only saw uh, Lex play the map so far, so I'm not sure actually. But let's hit one more time and then we'll we'll pack a punch it if we don't get anything good. PSH, KSP45. I'm not a big fan of that weapon, so I think we'll, we'll pack a punch the PPSH then. Let's do it. Can't get any more perks, unfortunately, but that's all right. That's back and punch it. Yeah, but it says uh, to master the weapon, right? Uh, yeah, you get 20,000 points to master him. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. So we got the Grizzly Reaper. Look at that ammo count as well. That is just juicy. I love that. Thank you, say thank you. Uh, was it Zella, right? That made the map, I believe. Obviously, he had uh, help, I believe, but. Yeah, just super, super big shout outs to all of them. I really appreciate it. You let me play your map as well. Uh, super awesome of you guys. Um, give me just one second. I gotta, gotta do something on the side real quick and then I'll be back. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. One of one players have voted to skip, or whatever it said there. All right, let's uh, let's do it. Um, yeah, actually, let's just let's just try out the upgraded PPSH. Excuse me, the Grizzly Reaper. Looks nice. Imagine if we could go in the bus there. That would be cool. We got a few buses here, actually. I think, right? We got one over here. Uh, I think you have like a couple over here as well on the side. Yeah. Those two lights are turned on, but this one looks like its lights are out. <laughs> no pun intended. Yeah, another thing I'm not a big fan of is all the uh, reticles being like super large when you're just walking or running. Um, I prefer smaller reticles on weapons for sure. But, you know, it's okay. At least you can like aim in and everything so it's fine as long as you can aim in but uh yeah it would be nice if the hip fire was a little bit better for sure i think 
still gives quite a bit of points at least, so that's good. Got that pass through damage and stuff. Something that uh, like games like Cold War and such did not have a lot of pass through. Which is very unfortunate. <laughs> I think most of the games in the more recent memory didn't have a ton of pass through, which is one of the best parts of old uh, zombies, actually, in my opinion, at least. Got a carpenter. Also, a shield would be amazing on this map as well. I, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Alright, nice. A little bit of points there. Let's keep uh, spending the box a little bit. See what else we can get. MK2 Carbine. Mark II Carbine. Oh, I think this one's actually really good. I think this is one of the weapons that he was he was playing with for a while. Getting pretty far in his run with, but that's fine. We will try it in the future, I think. Cause I, I'll have all three upgraded weapons right now, so I don't really want to get like a more base weapon. I mean, I could just insta-upgrade it, but right now I want to focus on mastering a weapon at least uh, before I go down just in case I do go down prematurely like right now uh, <laughs> that's exactly what I was talking about because I do not want to go down before I master a weapon I would at least like to do that if I can oh my gosh they're cutting me off at every turn that's okay though just gotta be a little bit careful Max ammo, nice. Don't mind if I do. Probably should have sprayed and prayed with some of these bigger ammo weapons, but it's fine. Oh, yeah, double points here. I didn't even realize. Let's go. That's big. Let me use the Grizzly Reaper to get as many points as we can here. Oh yeah, now we can master a weapon. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Alright, let's do it real quick before the round changes. <laughs> uh, too late. That's fine, though. Uh, I want to do the uh, the AK-74U, though. Just a Dutch weapon, and we have turned on it as well. Nice. I think it has more ammo than it had before. Turned is cool, though. I like turn. Look at look at the freaking Oh dude. Has like a what is that? Like a, a lighting? Oh also the camera's pretty sick as well. It has like a lighting thing as well. Ouch, ouch, ouch. You guys are spawning in perfect places. Yeah, the zombies are definitely getting real fast, and my sprint is running out pretty quick as well, but that's okay. Look at this thing though, dude. Oh my lord. That is very sick. Oh my gosh, and it like leaves it on the ground too? What? What is that, dude? That's awesome. Oh my gosh, they explode. Yes. Oh, it has like explosive ammo or something too, it looks like. Oh, whoops, my thing turned timed out. My insta kill. Alright, let's try to let's try to master another weapon as well. That's so cool. I like the uh, the rainbow letters too. Looks pretty good actually. All lowercase. All right, we'll probably do the Grizzly Reaper second, and then maybe the Skull Crusher if we if we don't die before then. I think that's a good idea. But yeah, I think we'll just keep this gun if we uh, if we get into like a dicey situation or whatever. Just a little bit. Oh, we got turned as well. Unfortunately, you don't get the points for the turned kills, sadly, but. Definitely helps you uh, if you're trying to keep alive and such. So yeah. Let's try to get as much points as we can though. Oh, max ammo is super nice actually. 
I mean, if that's the case, might as well just unload, right? No. Also, we have a minigun that's cool as well. Well, let's get that max ammo if it hasn't despawned yet. Nope, it hasn't. Good, 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 good. Alright, I don't know if it's gonna reload your ammo while your minigun is there, so I just uh, grabbed it just in case. Like, switched off the minigun first, just in case, I mean. Now we got another turn, there we go. End of the round. Alright, the end of this round should be a, uh, a free one. Uh, like a, a, a pause round, or whatever you want to call it. Alright, let's at least get to round 20, the end of that. And then we'll kind of go from there. I would like to get uh, to round 30, at least, if we can. But I make no promises. I'm not the best zombies player, but uh, I definitely try. You know? Yeah, it, if nothing else, the electric cherry at least stuns them for a decent amount of time, which is good. Trying to train them in one little area. There we go. Now that they're all together, we can kind of unload and see the points trickle out. Any power ups dropped there? No, it doesn't look like it. That's fine. Look at them go, though. Going like crazy. I might try uh, a game with uh, the hit markers off as well, just to like try it out, see what it feels like. Oh, double points, let's go. I didn't even see the drop. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Oh, yeah. And with how much ammo it has and stuff, too, it's so good. There we go. Let's grab this while we get the double points for it. There we go, nice. Alright, well, we can master another weapon for sure. Um, I don't really want to do the Skull Crusher. I would very much like to do the Grizzly Reaper. Um, although I feel like it might be a little bit of a waste, I'm not sure. But let's go ahead and do it. See how much ammo it gives for us uh, for re the master as well. More than a thousand, that's what I like to see. <laughs> Alright, what is that? The Sika Blat? Definitely sounds uh, Russian. I don't know if that's an actual word though. But there you go. The fireworks as well, and the camera looks pretty cool. It's kind of like a punk comic almost, but like fireworks. I don't know. Looks cool. I like it. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and ready up. I think I'll just see if we can get a different weapon for this one. Oh, I got a tele teddy, teddy bear. Oh well. That's okay. Alright, let's try out our new weapon. I do like fireworks a little bit more than turned as well, just generally speaking, although turned is, is strong for sure. So that's nice to get fireworks. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh my gosh, look at that beauty. Oh my gosh, that is like beautiful. The 4th of July. <laughs> and fireworks makes so much sense as well with it. That's so nice looking, actually. <laughs> I love that. Is there a drop over here that I saw? Or maybe not. I don't think so. Okay. I thought I saw something drop, but I didn't want to it, man. Wow. You can, can't see a whole lot. It's the only downside there, but it's nice. Oh my gosh, and it leaves like the thing on the ground as well, too. Just like the other weapon. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. Trapped myself there. Oh my gosh. Again. Now let's be a little bit careful here, guys. There we go. Oh, a max ammo. Nice. That's what I'm talking about right there. Uh, well, let's just kind of unload here a little bit. There we go. Nice. Into the round of there. Go ahead and get a carpenter. Hold them back just a little bit. Alright, this look this gun's nice, dude. 
Uh, only problem is, like I said, you can't see super well, I think, is like the main problem with it, but it's okay. That's alright. Let's try the AK-74U a little bit more here. Alright, we got the turn as well. Oh, that guy didn't die. Or girl, rather. That zombie didn't die. This guy just like chilling over here, taking everyone out. Let him do the work, honestly, bro. Save the ammo. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh. Almost trapped myself there for a second. We're okay though. Oh yeah, lighting up the ground is so cool as well. Wow. What a good idea. Like, what a smart idea. Hats off, you guys. The mastering, mastering your weapons. What a great idea. Yeah, that looks so cool. He's the last one, right? No? More, maybe? There he is. Good job, turn, dude. Killing it. I don't know if you can Rico pack a bunch of them to get a different uh, alternate ammo type, but yeah. I think they're just one for the mastered ones. Or actually, I guess it. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Pretty sure. This gun actually does feel pretty nice as well though, I'm not gonna lie. This one you just can't see very well, that's the only problem, in my opinion. I guess if you do short bursts, it's not too bad, but if you're just holding down the button, it's like you can't see anything. <laughs> I don't think. But hey, it's uh, it's a really cool, cool effect, and I do like the killers a lot. Oh my gosh. Careful. Oh my gosh, getting trapped again. Run away. Yeah, having so much ammo is super nice though as well. Alright, let's go ahead and utilize this minigun. Save a little bit of ammo as well while we're at it. The physical minigun does look a little bit better than, than the uh, death machine in BO3, but I feel like um, oh, we can master the other weapon if we want. Ooh, that's an idea. Maybe the end of this round, end of this round, or end of next round rather, when there's a pause round, just to be safe. But uh, what was I saying? I wanted to say uh, I feel like it doesn't deal as much damage as the uh, as the death machine. I'm not sure if that's true. I mean, obviously it's still one-shotting them pretty much, pretty well, but. I don't know, it feels a little bit off, that's all. It might just be me though, honestly. I would be surprised. Got a, we got a nuke there. I guess, let's go ahead and grab it, because uh, we're just trying to end rounds and go to higher rounds, right? Us. Terminal. But yeah, I think, I think that's a good idea. Go ahead and grab the max ammo, because why not? Oh my goodness, yeah, so it's like... Almost a thousand two hundred total ammo in this gun. That is amazing. Love to see that. Try not to get down here if I can avoid it. Yeah, if we could move that bus out of the way as well, that'd be great. <laughs> Not gonna lie. 
Oh, it looks like this is near the end of the round here. Right? Where's the last one? Somewhere around here. Finish him off with the skull crusher. There he is. Oh, if I could hit him. If I could aim. Alright, yeah, end of this round we should um we should have a pause round and then we can probably hit the box a few times, see if we want anything else out of there, and then if not, we'll just uh master the skull crusher here. M M sixteen I think, right? Is it M fourteen? I can't remember. I think it's the M sixteen. Is it M stand for Mark? Mark sixteen? Is that what it is? I don't know. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know. Uh oh. No, please. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. We actually went down there. That's bad. Well, we got need a little revive. That's cool. <laughs> um, man, we are about it down pretty quickly here. I think we gotta be careful. Oh no, we lost. Did we lose lose one of our weapons? I think we did. Uh oh, this is a bad. This is a bad choice. Oh man. All right, yeah, that was, that was a terrible choice. I should have got a. Uh, Juggernaut at least, although that's a pretty bad place to be down down in that hole. All right, well, uh, we did survive for 25 rounds. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much to the map creators, and uh, we'll try to do some more on this map in the future. All right, peace. See you guys later.